All right, here's the turtle. Um, this is the top right here is the dorsal side. This is the anterior where the head is. Um, and then this is the posterior. Underneath is the ventral. The shell on top is called the carapace. Um, and this is a layer of epidermal tissue that forms plate-like structures called cutes. And those are these structures right here. Um, the arrangement of cutes is used to um, identify different uh, turtle species. Um, then uh, between, um, I guess we'll say that the bottom is the plastron, um, and in between these two, this is called the bridge. Um, and then there's also cutes on the bottom here as well. So this is the head of the turtle. Here are the eyes. Um, like frogs, turtles do have a nictating membrane, um, which it uses acts as a third eyelid and protects the eyeball when they dive underwater. Um, here are the external nares for the turtle that it uses to breathe. And since uh, it ha doesn't have any ears, these it uses this eardrum, which is just the tympanic membrane. Um, which is located right behind the eyes. Um, they do have very poor hearing. Um, like I said, these are the external nares. Um, and then since turtles do not have any teeth, they use this little beak-like structure to tear at food. Um, here is the skin of the turtle. It is very tough and it has overlapping scales. Um, and it's used for protection as well as uh, keeping out any water. So this is a brain from an alligator, but it's going to be the same as a turtle. Okay, so this right here we see is the olfactory bulb with the optic nerve right here. This giant bulb is the cerebrum, and then here is the cerebellum, and then this uh, long thing right here is the medulla oblongata. And this would be the brain. This right here is the heart. Um, like most amphibians, turtles have a three-chambered heart. Here is the right atrium, here's the left atrium, and this is the ventricle. This part right here is the conus arteriosus, which forms the base of the three large arteries leaving the heart. Turtles have a closed two-loop system consisting of a pulmonary circulation which takes blood to the lungs and a systemic circulation which takes blood to the tissues. Turtles have a three-chambered heart consisting of a right atrium, a left atrium, and a ventricle that is partially separated by an incomplete septum. High oxygenated blood from the lungs enters the left atrium and is pumped out along with a mix of low oxygen blood to the tissues through the aorta. Low oxygen blood from the tissues enters the right atrium. When the blood enters the ventricle, some high oxygen blood and low oxygen blood mixes. But when the heart pumps out blood, a valve located at the conus arteriosus separates further mixing. The high oxygen blood leaves the heart through the aorta to the tissues, and the low oxygen blood leaves through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. At times when a turtle dives or goes into hibernation, the blood can bypass the lungs. By shunting the blood away from the pulmonary arteries, it can redirect it to the tissues to conserve energy. Here's the trachea. It lies ventral to the esophagus. Um, it has a ribbed appearance, like you can see, and it is made of cartilage. So near the internal hairs are palatal folds that direct air into the glottis, and then the air is transferred via the trachea. So the trachea is commonly referred to as the windpipe because of its function in the respiratory system. So here are the lungs. They, they're obviously deflated, but they're attached to the trachea and they also have holes. <clears throat> so respiration occurs by expanding the thoracic cavity to suck air into the lungs. Um, turtles will even move their internal organs so that they can create room for an enlarged thoracic cavity. On both sides, this is the liver. So this is the gallbladder. Um, it's found in the liver. Um, it's a greenish colored sac 
and it's on the ventral um, left side of the turtle. When you can see the, the greenish, it's very dark. But, um, and it stores bile made by the litter. So after you, um, the turtle receives the food, it comes from the beak and into the esophagus, which is underneath the trachea, into the stomach, which is located right here. After that, it moves into the duodenum, which is a part of the small intestine. Um, and right on top here, um, this is the pancreas. Um, and going down right here is, this would be where the gallbladder is connected. Um, and that's where, um, receives bile. bile. And then down here we're going into the large intestine. Okay so here are the kidneys right, right along the back and there are actually two kidneys and the kidneys are responsible for uh, removing the waste and reptiles specifically execrate a concentrated waste called Uric acid and this semi solid substance will help the turtle retain water in its back. So, this right here is where the urinary bladder would be. Um, it stores the uric acid and it releases it into the external environment through the cloakia, which is right there, that little hole. There we go. Okay, so, the cloakia is this hole near the posterior end of the tail. It's an opening for the urinary and reproductive systems, so the cochlea receives waste from the kidney and fluids from the reproductive organs and then transfers them out the, to the external environment. So since this is a female, so that, that, these are fine. two ovaries, yeah. okay. and right here it's in this little here. membrane is where the oh, eggs were held. Um, well, leading down from the ovaries are these oviducts that will lead it down all the way to the cloaca which is this opening right here. And females are um, substantially bigger than males. These right here are the oh, eggs yeah. of this turtle. For the male, it wouldn't have the ovaries, but it would have testes, which would be right above the kidneys. 